Hey, what's up guys? KSK Ryle here. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Java JDK in Windows OS. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to write a simple Java code and compile using a command prompt. So make sure to watch the video until the end without missing anything. Now before going into installing a Java JDK, so I want to give a quick introduction about a JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Using this software development kit, we will be able to make a Java programs. Now JDK contains a bunch of tools like Java compiler, Java libraries, Java loader, and Java runtime environment, and bunch of other platform dependencies that are collected together in the form of JDK. So using this a software development kit, we will be able to build a Java programs that are runnable. Anyway, so in order to uh, verify if the system has Java installed or not, so just gonna go ahead, right click on the Windows logo, then choose run and type CMD. Now inside this command prompt, just type Java dash version. You know, if you see this message, that means Java has not installed within the Windows OS. So we're going to fix this issue in a moment. So right now it says Java is not recognized as internal or external command. So that means it's clearly saying Java JDK has not installed on this system. So to fix this issue, just going to go ahead, open the Google Chrome or any of your favorite browser. Then inside the Google, just going to go ahead and type JDK. Then go ahead and choose the first option. By the time of recording this video, you can see Java SE, known as a standard edition. Version 16 is available. So you can see other versions like SE 15 and SE 11 LTS is also available. So keep in mind if you are downloading LTS version, so you have to have a Oracle account. So just gonna go ahead, create Oracle account and then download the SE 11 LTS. Now for now, I'm gonna go ahead use the latest edition, which is a Java standard edition version 16. So just gonna go ahead, click on JDK download here, then scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see there is an option called Windows X64 Installer. So just going to go ahead and choose this option that ends with .exe extension. So you can see there is an archive available. So if in case you want that, you can also download that. This is basically a manual process. So for beginners, just going to go ahead and download this one. Just going to go ahead and click on that. As you can see, it's around a 150 megabytes in size and it's going to done downloading in a few seconds. All right, so once it's done downloading, just going to go ahead and click on open. Then go ahead, choose yes. And then go ahead, click on next. And this is the path where all the files will be stored. So you can see, you can also change this path if in case you want that. So for now, I'm going to leave it as the default. Then click on next. That's it. Now we have successfully done a setting up a Java JDK. So I'm going to go ahead and open the file explorer. So then choose uh, this PC, then inside this local disk C, and if you go to the program files, you can see there is a new option called Java. Now inside this Java folder, you can see the JDK version 16 available. Now again, inside this bin directory, you can see a bunch of pre-compiled tools. For example, you can see the Java loader right here, as well as a Java compiler. So we're going to go ahead, add this location to the system environment variables. So that way, we will be able to access the Java command right from the command prompt. So to do so, just going to go ahead, highlight the address bar, then right click, then choose copy the address. Then here on this PC, just going to go ahead, right click, 
then go to this properties now when you're inside the properties section just gonna go ahead and choose this option called advanced system settings now here at the bottom you can see there is an option called environment variables just gonna go ahead and select that option then here you can choose the path option click on edit then choose new and then paste the location of that JDK 16 file so just gonna go ahead and paste that location then click on OK now that's it now we have successfully added a Java home to the system environment variable I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this terminal right now our command prompt reopen the command prompt now if I type Java dash version right now and you can see it's showing Java version 16 has installed in this PC. You can also type Java C, which is a Java compiler dash version, and you can see Java C version 16. So that means we have done successfully setting up a Java JDK in Windows OS. Now, using this command prompt, we will be able to access the Java command throughout the system. All right, so it's time to write uh, some sample code to see how it works. Using the sample code, we're going to go ahead and compile it with the help of the command prompt. So I'm going to go ahead, open up the notepad, and then write a simple code, public class, root class, I'm going to say. And then inside this class, we need to provide a main method. We're going to say simply uh, public static void main and then we need to provide a string args command here then inside this main method I'm gonna go ahead and simply provide a print line statement that's gonna go ahead and print a subscribe to the console just gonna go to system dot out dot print line and then we we'll say subscribe that's it now go ahead click on the file then go ahead click on save and then go ahead choose the desktop and whenever you are saving the Java file so make sure the file name as well as the class name should be the same now in this case the root class should be the same as the file name just gonna go ahead and say root class make sure it's a case sensitive then a dot Java we have to add an extension then save as type should be our files then go ahead click on save now you can see on the desktop the brand new file has created so we're going to go ahead and compile this java code using a command prompt so i'm going to go ahead open the command prompt back again as a fresh console here and i'm going to go ahead and navigate to the cd desktop now i'm going to go ahead and dir java and you can see there is a root class that java is available here now to compile this code, we can simply call the Java compiler, Java C, then root class .java, then press the return key. Now you can see there is a brand new file has been created with a .class extension. So we have to pass this to the Java loader to run that program. So to do so, just type Java root class. That's it then press the return key and boom you can see it says subscribe so that means the program is successfully running and this is how you install Java JDK in Windows 10 and compile the code using a command prompt so if in case you like this video hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe this channel to see more videos like this thanks for watching this video it's been KSKRL I'll catch you in my next one peace